welcome back. Today, guys, I am in such dire need of just a total reorganization of all of my wardrobes. I've really felt over the last few weeks that everything has just felt so cluttered and in total disarray. And obviously, it is the new season as well, well just about. Um, and every season, I plan on like switching out my wardrobe, switching out my display rails, like the one in my dressing room, also the one here in my studio, um, to reflect um, the current fashion season. So everything always feels nice and fresh and up to date. I'm kind of intimidated by the task at hand because I do really feel like I need to clear out some pieces in my wardrobe and you guys know I did this like a month ago and I managed to get rid of a few things out of my spring summer wardrobe but I still think I need to try and do a bit more and also get rid of some things from my autumn winter wardrobe because everything is just feeling so cluttered and it's just not a good feeling at all so today we are going to reorganize the wardrobes do some nice displays um try and clear out a few pieces and I also want to show you guys a few new pieces in my wardrobe so I thought that we would do a little tour tour of the wardrobes as they currently are so you can see what we're going to do today. Um, I know you guys love an organise with me video and actually it makes me feel so much better about doing it because sometimes it feels like such a chore but when I'm filming it and sharing it with you guys um, it's really fun. <laughs> and just because I know you'll all be so mad at me if I don't show you guys Cinderella. She's grown. She's a little girl still. She's still very very small. Look but she's very long. <gasps> Oh, look at those ballerina toes. They are definitely good toes and not naughty toes. So this is what my display rail in my studio currently looks like. Um, I have a mix of like a few jackets um, and knits, but also um, like party wear and fun dresses for um, like the festive season. What do you want, my love? Are you mad with me? Because I'm not playing with you. Oh, I'm sorry. So next we have my dressing room, which, oh my gosh, guys, even after six months now, of living here I just can't get over how much I love this room so as you can see um, when you come in I have this really beautiful open cabinet that currently has all of my gorgeous gorgeous winter coats in all of my Santini coats and my faux fur coats and it does look so so nice and um, especially with like my boots and my um, more like wintry heels and I'm kind of sad to put the coats away but I do really believe in like refreshing the space you know kind of regularly um so it never feels like dated or old and you don't get too bored um so we'll be putting the gorgeous coats away today so now coming into my dressing room with my main wardrobe look how stunning it is um so with the shelving i don't really feel like it's necessary to totally switch everything out with the season because these things don't really have a season they are all the around like party bags party shoes um, and it's kind of just like all my prettiest pink stuff so I probably will do a little rejig at some point, but I don't think I'll do that today. So currently um, in this wardrobe is my autumn winter wardrobe, which, oh my God, it actually makes me feel sick. It's too stuffed. And to be honest with you guys, I only wear like very few things out of this wardrobe, which is why, by the way, I am so done with winter because I practically wear two outfits. Cinderella loves it in here. Don't you? And then in here, of course, we have all of my spring summer clothes, which I did a very small clear out of um, a few weeks ago, but I just still feel like I could do a little bit more. Maybe I could be a bit more ruthless. Um, so I'm going to basically be transferring all of this into the dressing room wardrobe and vice versa. Also switching out the shoes and putting some of my lovely summer shoes and sandals on display in the dressing room, which should be really fun. And then in the wardrobe next door, um, I have all of my kind of like fancy dresses, um, whether they're occasion dresses or just all of my really beautiful like Zimmerman spring summer dresses, um, which will most likely go on display. And all of the coats, like the nice fancy coats, um, will go back in here. So as you can see, there is quite a lot to get through. I am looking forward to it though, but before we get started, um, I want to show you some of my new spring pieces. So here is all of the newness waiting to go into my wardrobe. First of all, the fabulous Free People play suit that I bought in New York that I didn't really get a chance to show you on properly. A few beautiful pieces from Karen Millen. This sleeveless trench I did wear in New York. And then I've got this incredible top, this gorgeous skirt, and this absolutely magnificent 
magnificent cape, which I am so excited to show you guys. I think you'll go crazy for it. And then I actually popped into And Other Stories on Regent Street yesterday because I had a gifting appointment. So they let me choose out um, a couple of pieces every month, which is absolutely lovely. And they actually had way more cute stuff for spring um, than they did online when I was doing my haul week so I really wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay guys I will start off with the Karen Millen pieces. I first of all have this blouse and skirt and I absolutely love both pieces separately but also I really love how they look together. They kind of look like a little set. Um, so the top is honestly like I feel like the perfect top for this time of year. Well actually it's really really warm today but it's gonna rain and the temperature's gonna drop next week um, and it's a perfect perfect spring top because the actual like body part is like a ribbed knit so it's actually quite warm um, but it's still got these beautiful like flowy floaty fairy like chiffony sleeves giving you that lovely whimsical more spring summer vibe. I also love the buttons I'm just gonna come up close so you guys can see um, how nice they are they really give it like a very luxurious Feel. I feel like this top is really me because it kind of is a cross between something preppy with like the heritage gold buttons and also something a bit more like boho and whimsical and feminine. And then this skirt, honestly guys, I'm obsessed with. It's so comfortable. I've had skirts like this shape and style before that have just been so uncomfortable because they're so stiff. Whereas this like, it must have a little bit of stretch in it because you can actually like move in it and stuff like this. And I mean, what can I say, it's so classic, like this is just a wardrobe staple, I feel for every girl that wants to have that like polished, feminine, put together style, a skirt like this is just a must, and this is one of the nicest ones I have come across in such a long time, because this fabric is soft, it feels nice on your skin, you can move in it, it's comfortable. Just give you guys a little twirl, as you can see the back, I feel like it's very flattering, and the pieces I think look really nice together, but you can also wear them individually with other tops and bottoms as well. Okay, so next I'm just going to throw this over the top. If you guys saw my vlog from last week, which if you haven't, seriously, why not? It's like my favourite travel vlog in ages. It's literally just gossip girl heaven. So it's this absolutely beautiful sleeveless trench coat and this is actually part of Lydia Millen's collaboration with Karen Millen and I'm not exaggerating guys because this is a bold claim. I think this could be one of the nicest pieces I've ever had from a high street brand. I just feel like I'm wearing something from a high-end brand. The quality is so, so good from the fabric. Like the fabric is thick and soft. It has a really beautiful lining and just the fit and the way that it's cut, it just feels so beautifully done um, and it just looks stunning. It's so effortlessly chic. I think it's so elegant, stylish. I just absolutely love this and I feel like this is such a good wardrobe staple for spring because it's like this nice extra layer to throw over your nice spring outfit when it's a little bit chilly that doesn't take away from the outfit it just adds to it and makes it look even better okay this next piece i've been so excited to show you i know you guys are going to love it so much and you know how much i love a cape this is pure gossip girl in fact i'm actually gutted that i didn't see this before the new york trip because this would have been so perfect but guys i truly feel even like in terms of the quality as well and the way that it looks i feel like i'm wearing something from Miu Miu or even gucci it has such a high-end feel again with like the nice fabric the way that it's cut and structured is just so perfect again I feel like this is a really nice piece for spring in the city when it's sunny and you want to feel like you're wearing your cute spring outfits and your spring colors but it is kind of cold like this would have literally been perfect in New York I'm actually so upset it's chic it's statement it's everything I've ever wanted and to be honest like it is more of an investment piece but you could actually wear this all year round and just style it a little bit differently um, I feel like it totally works for spring but it would also look really nice in autumn winter okay next I have this absolutely gorgeous play suit that I bought from free people in New York I just can't tell you how nice this feels on my body how lovely and comfortable it is um, it's kind of like all open it's like at the back it kind of is open and ties in a little bow which is really cute I'll just come up close so you guys can see all of the lovely detail on the top and I just love the shape like the way the shoulders stick out and then the shorts stick out it creates this like triangular um, hourglass silhouette which I love you just know I love anything with a little bit of structure um, and I just thought this would be so lovely for spring summer and I'd wear it all the time <laughs> 
Okay, so next I have the pieces that I picked out from And Other Stories. Um, I hope you guys can see the colour of this dress because it's very bright in here and the colour of this dress is so pretty. I got this dress because I'm really lucky, obviously, with the um, opportunity to have a few pieces gifted every so often because it kind of opens up my mind a little bit and lets me experiment with pieces that I may not buy because they're slightly outside of my comfort zone. But I tried this dress on and honestly, guys, I just felt so pretty in it. Like, oh my gosh, I just thought it was gorgeous. The colour... The pattern, like pinky florals, the puff sleeves, the smocked bodice, it is longer than a dress that I would typically wear, but I just, I just felt really pretty in it and I thought with like my Kate Spade wedges, with my new Kate Spade wedges, I just thought it would be the most classically beautiful spring summer look and then they did actually have this dress in like a short version, like a wrap dress. But I just thought I'd take a chance on this because it made me feel really lovely. Okay, so finally I have two tops from And Other Stories, and I'm going to pair them both with the Zimmerman shorts because let's be honest, if a spring summer top does not go with the Zimmerman shorts, then is it even worth having? Because we all know these are the only things I wear in spring summer. So anyway, this top, guys, it's literally a dream. The fabric is beautiful. I can't describe it. It's like smooth and soft and silky but it's like stiff and structured at the same time. And I just cannot get over these incredible sleeves. They're literally Disney princess sleeves. This is a modern princess top, which I really love because it feels on trend because puff sleeves are on trend. Um, it feels trendy, it feels current and modern, but it definitely has that old, that old princess vibe, which I just love. It's very Aurora, very Cinderella. And then the final piece is this blouse, which I know like looks really minimal, but to be honest guys, this like paired with the shorts is such an easy go-to outfit for me that I can actually guarantee I'll probably just end up wearing this like every day. It's just so, so easy and effortlessly chic. It really gives me like a vintage Marilyn Monroe or Bridget Bardot and a French Riviera vibes, you know, like with a big hat. I never know how to um, describe this to people, but you know when like the um, shoulder, the armhole is kind of like out a little bit, it kind of creates just like a different type of silhouette and I really, really like it. And I love how um, it's elasticated around here as well. So it's just a really, really comfortable crop. So I guess you guys can now see why I'm in such need of a clear out um, to make room for these gorgeous new pieces in my wardrobe. But first of all, I really want to get started on this rail because I just have such fun doing this at the start of the season. I'm actually just gonna keep this outfit on as well. It's very comfortable. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the rail. My goodness this is so so pleasing to me look at all my lovely spring dresses it looks absolutely perfect this has put me in a very cheerful mood indeed um just look at all of these gorgeous dresses i love them so much and i just can't wait to wear them it looks so pretty i also added a couple of my spring neck scarves onto the rail and normally what kind of happens is things just end up making their way onto the rail whether it's a handbag draped over the side or more dresses but this is just such a lovely way to start off the fashion season and spruce up the studio. Okay, so now's the time where it's going to get really messy because I basically have to completely empty both wardrobes in order to switch them around and I'm gonna try and not put everything back and try and part with a few more pieces just so it doesn't feel so cluttered and there's a little bit of breathing room for the clothes um, and also room to put the new things away as well. So let's just get on with it. I feel like this is the most painful part. Oh, okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh, this is a humongous pile of clothes. You can't even actually tell how big this pile is. But they're so cute. I 
love my spring summer wardrobe i'm so excited so um yes now i will empty my autumn winter wardrobe um and we will switch everything over oh she is the most precious she loves playing dress up don't you my sweet one okay this is a little bit overwhelming to tell you the truth but i think we've just got to go for it oh i've also got to take all the shoes out of here I can do that after. Okay, I've got two fleeces, I don't need them both, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one because um, even though I prefer the colour, obviously I prefer like the zip, like the zip high neck on this rather than the collar, so um, I'm going to get rid of this. Great start. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this top. It does upset me a little bit because I do really like it, but I didn't wear it once, like the whole of the last autumn winter. I think it's just a tricky one because it's very like autumn winter vibes, but it's short sleeve and it's really not very warm at all. So I never find myself reaching for it and I think I should just get rid of it. I'm sadly going to get rid of this pink jumper because I think I actually shrunk it in the wash and it has gone like too cropped now and it just looks a bit silly on me um, and I've just got so many pink knits so I feel like I won't miss it too much. I also think I'm going to get rid of this pink jumper even though I do really love the colour it's just a bit too oversized for me it's too baggy and I don't really like baggy clothes so I'm going to get rid of that. Is it time to get rid of my camel Zara jumper? No, I don't think it's ever time to get rid of the camel Zara jumper. Okay, blouses. Definitely keeping the gold, definitely keeping the horse, because I just think it looks like Chloe. I think it's finally time to get rid of this. Even though it's beautiful, it's flattering, the fabric is gorgeous, the pattern's gorgeous. I just never wear it, and I cannot keep holding on to things that I don't wear. I love this one, and I love this one. I find it quite hard with my winter dresses because I don't really have that many um, and I do just get worried about throwing them out because I'm so picky with wintry dresses although the good news is that this has had a total revival because don't you guys remember in the last few clear outs I've been like hmm I don't know whether I should get rid of this and then I'm like no I feel like I will wear it one day and I wore it in New York I just decided to pack it I was like I'm gonna force myself to wear it and I've fallen in love with it and now I've worn it like three times since I've been back. These dresses, I think I'm definitely going to get rid of the white sweater dress. Is that a mistake though? It's just, ugh, I just never really wear this one. Um, feels like it would be a good one to keep because it is a staple and it's warm. So maybe that's a mistake, maybe I should hold on to this. But I think the time might have come to get rid of this one because again, like I, I just love it, I really do, but I then never wear it. And I just feel like I need to stop holding on to things that I never wear, although I never wore the leather dress and I'm obsessed with it, so it's a really tricky one. I think the problem with this is, again, it's not a warm dress at all, like it's really thin and it's more kind of springy, but this is not the colour that I like to wear in spring at all. So I think I might just bite the bullet on this one and get rid of it. Ooh, uh-oh, okay, now it's time for my skirts and shorts, of which there are a lot. I have more skirts and shorts than dresses. Okay, just off the bat, I feel like these three skirts I can get rid of, even though it pains me slightly. This one I just really never wear anymore, and I hold on to it because I'm like, mm, it's cute, but I just think it's worthless holding on to it. This and other stories one I actually love so much, and it really upsets me to get rid of it but it's just really not comfortable and every time I put it on I'm just not comfy and I just don't think it really fits me properly and that's why it's not comfortable and especially after trying on like that Karen Millen skirt today which is so comfortable I just don't think I would ever choose to wear this again. Also this skirt from Abercrombie I really really like it but it's actually a little bit too short for me to wear outside the house so sometimes I'll wear this like indoors in the house um but then it's like, do you know what, Freddie, you've got so many indoor clothes, like joggers and all sorts of stuff. You don't need a skirt to wear indoors. I also think I'm going to finally get rid of the Zara skirt, guys, which is crazy because this is like my favourite thing I own for so long. But the truth is, I've just really gone off grey. Grey is not my thing anymore. Like, I just don't like grey. Okay, I've got two brown pleated skirts here, like kind of school skirts. And I don't know which one to keep. This one kind of looks black but I kind of like it because it's a really dark rich brown um this one is a bit lighter um do you know what guys I think I'm gonna have to try those on and see which ones fit better that's actually not bad did I just cut my pile in half just as a side note this is another skirt that I have come close to like thinking about clearing out before and just refound my love for it in New York I think it's a really good tip if there are clothes that you're not really you're not sure if you're feeling anymore 
take them on a trip and then you've got no choice but to wear them and then you can really decide how you feel about them. Just another pearl of wisdom from me, you're welcome. Okay, wow, I had another white jumper dress in here that I did not even know that I had. It's so thin, I think it must have just got totally squashed. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll, again, try this one on and try the other one on and see which I prefer. Oh guys, I really don't want to say it, but I think I'm gonna get rid of these faux fur gilets just because I don't wear them. I think I haven't really found a way to style them where I really feel like me. I really like them, but I just never wear them, so I think I should just get rid of them. Oh, my precious angel, look how beauty you are. Oh my goodness. Now the last thing is my And Other Stories jacket. This is the old one, and when I got the white one, I was like, this is so much nicer than my old one. And now I'm feeling like an absolute idiot because I actually think this is nicer. I think I was just so busy that week that I didn't really have time to check. I actually think my original one is nicer. <gasps> oh, Freddy. Do you know what though? I'm actually quite pleased with that wardrobe. Like, it's full, but I feel like I've cut a lot of dead weight out of there and it's not stuffed. Um, and I think to come back to that next autumn winter, it will be it'll be just right. So I'll just try on these dresses and these skirts, um, see which ones to keep, and then we will move on to popping all the spring stuff back. Oh my gosh, please try and ignore the mess. Today is a messy day by nature, um, but here is the first skirt. This is the original one I had. It's the darker brown one. It's kind of like a kilt style, so it's like flat at the front, pleated at the back, um, and it's a pretty good length actually, it's not too short. So here is the second one and I actually think this is nicer. I like how the pleats are all the way around and it doesn't have the flat bit. And also the fabric is a bit nicer, it's a bit softer, it feels less like an actual school skirt. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one, get rid of the other one. And then here is white dress number one and there's honestly nothing wrong with this, like it's so soft. I think maybe it's the bodycon shape, like it's not really my thing. Why does no one make a knitted skater dress that would be fun um but then again it is now i've got it on it is actually quite nice isn't it and it would be just a nice like casual dress that's warm i feel like maybe i should keep it unless the other one is nicer oh well now i'm really unsure i didn't think that this would fit the same it looked like it was looser but it literally fits exactly the same the only difference is the other one is ribbed and this one is just is just plain um, and also there's like a cute little slit in this one, which I do like. I think I do prefer this, but I will wait and see what you guys say before I decide. But there's just something about this. I think it's more flattering. I think it looks a bit more elegant. And look how nice and uniformed that looks, all set for next year. One thing I forgot to mention that I'm also going to do is I'm going to go through and make sure that everything is clean, like perfectly clean. Even if it has a little bit of makeup on it, I'm going to wash it because I just want like next year just to open up a wardrobe full of fresh, clean clothes ready to be worn. Okay guys, ooh, it's quite nice lighting in here. I actually love it in this room so much. Like where it's so small and the colour of the walls is so nice and like the colour of the wardrobes is so lovely and there's the carpet. It just, I don't know, it's cosy, it's calm. I love this room. Okay, so as you can see, um, I just loaded all of the spring summer clothes into this wardrobe and like they fit it is pretty full um, and I just feel like I'm gonna have such a hard time clearing things out of here because I tried the other day and um, kind of failed okay this this is naughty because it's new like I've worn it once um, but oh, I do really like it it's really cool it's kind of like a Western vibe but just for like day to day, like things I'll actually wear, unless I'm going to like a themed thing, which is what I wore this to, it was for a themed thing, which is why I bought it. Am I gonna wear it again? Am I gonna choose to wear something like cool and Western? See, I love all of these. My lemon two piece, my like Miami Barbie play suit, um, this really beautiful blue floral dress from Abercrombie and this really gorgeous play suit with oranges on. Oh no, they're not oranges, they're orange roses. Even so, I um, haven't worn that yet and I'm gonna take it on holiday this year. Um, oh, this, do I get rid of this guys? It's the Topshop dress and I do really, really love it, um, but I don't really wear it. And I'm like, if it was gone, would I miss it? Do you know what? I think I am gonna get rid of this blouse because it's kind of annoying me. I went to get rid of it and I've been thinking about getting rid of it for ages. And then I tried it on and I was like, no, it is really nice. But I feel like if it's gone, I won't miss it. And I need to try and clear out at least one thing. I could potentially get rid of the ASOS Brodery set. Um, 
even though I really like it, I don't really wear it, so oh, this could potentially go. But guys, I find this really hard because I like all of these clothes. I need a bigger wardrobe. Okay, we may have the tiniest bit of progress. So if you guys remember in my last clearing out video, I was going to clear out this and other stories, like linen two-piece. And then I tried it on and realised that it was super cute and I didn't want to throw it out. But I've just actually seen this Fashion Nova top which is literally like the same fabric, the same colour, and so I'm thinking that this could equally go just as nicely with the shorts as this top, so maybe I don't actually need both of these tops because they are very, very similar, and to be honest, I think I probably would prefer the Fashion Nova one because I prefer the square neckline rather than this like more plunging neckline, um, so I'm going to try them on to be double sure. Oh god, why do I have such nice taste? It's a curse. Shorts, shorts, and more shorts. Shorts, should keep those. Shorts, 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 trousers, skirt, shorts, that. Uh, let's go back here. Guess I could potentially get rid of this dress, this Abercrombie dress. I do love it, but the truth is, if I'm gonna go for like a dress like this, I feel like I would be more likely to go for the short one. I've literally got like almost the exact same dress in a mini version and I probably would go for that over a long one. I think I'm gonna have to draw the line there guys. I know that was probably a little bit disappointing, it's not like a major clear out, but I did do it, didn't I, a few weeks ago. Um, and everything is so nice, like trust me, you guys know my wardrobe probably just as well as I do because I've got my life showing it to you. Is there anything you think I could get rid of? Like really, look at all my look at all my many white pairs of shorts, I wear every single pair. In fact no, that's it, we're going, goodbye. Here is the And Other Stories two-piece with the actual And Other Stories top. It is really pretty, isn't it? Because it's got like the puffy sleeves and this little scalloped neckline and the little tie. It's pretty cute. Or there is the Fashion Nova top, which I think I actually prefer. I think they look really nice together. I like the square neckline. We still have cute puff sleeves and also at the back, I don't know if you guys can see, it's gonna focus, but it ties in this really cute bow at the back, which I really like. Okay guys, thoughts on this. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of this. It's a weird one because I do like it and I do feel like it's very me, but I just feel like I would put this on and then I'd take it off and put something else on. I feel two ways about this, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at me guys. So I basically got this um, because it's very like western vibes, look with the little um, trim. Western vibes slash like a lizard dinosaur vibe, um, I'm not quite sure which it looks like more. Um, and I actually felt really good in this because it was JJ's birthday and we did like a Western theme. And I felt lovely in this because I was like Western, but I was also girly and I thought it looked really cute. Um, but then I'm like, am I ever actually gonna wear this again if it's not a Western theme? Would I actually put this on? Um, and part of me is like, no. But then part of me is like, maybe, because it really feels kind of like Chloe. And I just feel like with my Chloe bag, Exhibit A. <laughs> Don't you think this kind of has like a cool high-end Chloe vibe? I'm torn on this one guys, I need your help. As friends, please let me know what you think. And finally guys, this dress. What are your thoughts? I do just really love the pattern. Look how cute that is, like the colours are so lovely. And the fabric is really nice too. Do you know what guys, I'm gonna give myself an ultimatum on this dress. I'm gonna really make an effort to wear it this year. And if I don't wear it this year, then you have to remind me, because I might forget. Please remind me, if I don't wear this this year, then it really needs to go next time we have a clear out. <laughs> I kind of feel obligated to keep this dress on now, um, but I'm not going to, it's not very comfortable. I'm gonna get changed. And then I think the last job for today is to switch out the display rail in the dressing room. So say goodbye to the gorgeous coat display. I'm a little bit sad. Um, because it looks so lovely. But do you know what guys, I get so miserable at like the end of summer that doing this and like sprucing up the dressing room and getting all the nice coats out, it kind of helps put me in a slightly better mood for winter. I'm just concerned that these are not going to fit in my other wardrobe, but we will see. Also, have I ever shown you guys the lovely little display I've got at the top? Do you think that looks so cute? Oh, and we also get to do the shoes as well. So I will put all of the boots away um, in the other wardrobe and fill this rack up with my spring summer sandals.
gosh guys i love it so much it looks so so pretty i'm absolutely thrilled that is just stunning and i love seeing all of my beautiful dresses on display that otherwise would just be like scrunched up somewhere in a wardrobe the new free people play suits my zimmerman my old free people dress and the shoes look so good it's so refreshing to see all of my nice shoes out on display including these new ones which are from lk bennett i've got to show you guys these <laughs> they are so so high um but they do have a really big platform as well so i think they'll be very comfortable excuse me can we at least see your face and not your bottom not your derriere I also just had a really cute little reorganisation of my handbag shelf, like I didn't do too much, I just kind of switched out some more summary bags to be on the feature section, including, guys, can you believe it, I am so naughty, this is a new bag, I actually used my own Farfetch discount code and got like £500 off this bag, which is one reason why if you do not watch my Luxury Essentials um, videos every season, you should because I have amazing codes for you in those videos. Um, and then I just switched out um, this shelf which is a bit lower down which has my more summery bags including my new coach bag. And then I pop my slightly more autumnal bags um, down a shelf like my mulberry and the new coach bag, this mulberry bag. And then I also changed out the shelf down here, this had my moon boots on, my Uggs and this like wintry um, Sheerling Kate Spade bag, so I just popped a couple of spring pairs of boots that I still wear in spring, my Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag, and also I've put away my Chanel bag in the box just because I felt like I was getting a little bit lax with my Chanel bag. I just had it out um, and it was like my go-to grab-and-go bag, and actually it's not a grab-and-go bag at all, and so I just felt like I should put it away. Hello. Oh, she wants to look in the Chanel box. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd put it away um, and just really like keep it safe because that really is my biggest investment ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are so precious. You love shoes and bags, don't you? I knew you were the kitten for me as soon as you got here. And here is the spring wardrobe, um, just to sum everything up. It's really full. I've put away the new pieces, except um, the long things and the cape, which I've put in my coat cupboard and um, because it's a bit longer. So yeah, it's really full, but I just feel like until maybe I start getting some new pieces and I really feel like, okay, maybe this can replace that, there's no point getting rid of things that I actually like when clearly like I do have the space for them. I think I just like put a lot of pressure on myself. Excuse me! I just feel like I end up putting a lot of pressure on myself to get rid of a lot of stuff when I suppose I don't necessarily need to. So we'll just see how it goes, but for now I'm so excited that everything is switched over. This has just put me in the best mood along with the warm, sunny weather. Oh my gosh, guys. Summer is the best. excuse moi Mademoiselle Cinderella. What are you doing with my jewellery? Did you want some pearl earrings? Oh, you would look very good in pearls, but I dare say you might suit diamonds more, as pearls may just blend in with your fair complexion, and actually diamonds may stand out and sparkle more. And over in the bedroom, I just about managed to squeeze all of my coats into this wardrobe. It's not ideal because they are quite squished, but to be honest, I don't really access this wardrobe very often. It's kind of more like storage, so I don't mind as much that this is very squished in, because to be honest, nothing will really get added to this. Um, from now until like next year. And then my winter wardrobe is all ready and waiting for me for next year. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, I just feel like that's a really nice, solid, classic collection of winter clothes. <laughs> so guys, I am all done reorganizing my wardrobes for spring. I'm so excited. This has really just so lifted my spirits. The weather today is so, so glorious and I can just feel it in my bones that this is going to be an amazing summer. Thank you to this little one for helping me. Thank you to all of you guys for watching along and I'll see you all next week.